SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor, or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first, then you act. On campus. Brian, in two seasons, this team has not scored a touchdown on Ohio State. Obviously, it's not any one person's fault, but I'm just curious, how do you rectify that, or is it just a different coach, different team, different year? Different year. Um, you know, we're not focused too much on last year, or last year or two, two years ago, whatever. Um, we're focused on what we can get done this year, and uh, we're, we're offense is confident, so we're good. What did you learn from that game two years ago with a chance to win or the, the East Division title? Yeah, is uh, maturity, I guess. You know, we kind of had a younger team, and um, maybe wasn't quite ready for that one. But you know, I think uh, the seniority of this team will be ready for this one. So. We, we know the Horseshoe is a tough place to play. Is it is is it a fun place to play for any reason? Yeah, it's fun. You know, big crowds are always good. Um, I think us as a team embrace those, and we enjoy playing in front of other people. So. Is there something about a road team game where a team kind of? Bonds together, we are one, stuff like that. Yeah, you got to rally together. There's only a, a couple, or not a couple, but a set amount of guys that you know go in road games, and um, you're you're with them all the time. You're in the hotel, you're in the bus, you're in the plane, all that stuff. So you kind of rally together. What yeah. have you seen from their defensive front? I mean, they bring a lot of pressure and got a lot of sacks already. You know? Yeah, they. Um, I don't think they blitz as much, but you know their D line is very good, and they've gotten a ton of sacks on quarterbacks. So um, let's be stout up front to be able to stop them. Your performance against Indiana and maybe the shootout that no one really expected. You guys, you said at one point, this is fun. You, yeah. know, you guys kind of more confident going into this one, knowing that if it becomes a shootout that you guys can, can hang with them? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we, I think we played pretty well yeah, last week. And um, obviously other stuff that made throws that obviously I could have made that um, would have been bigger. But um, I think overall we played solid. So. Still the same. You're making throws, and you did Saturday that you just couldn't make last year, aren't you? Yeah, um, I think it just comes with being healthy, and um, you know, I, have, I have confidence that I'm able to do that. Is that what the fun's about too? The fact that you're feeling healthy and just playing well? Yeah, you know, I felt like there, the throws I missed were on me, and um, I, you know, I can still be able to throw a, a sling around a little bit. And that was that was what was fun was it? That was what was fun about it is that I uh, could still do that. You kind of made mention of it about how the young team went into Columbus two years ago, and now a lot of you guys are seniors now, and. and just how much did you guys talk about coming back this season and games like this with that senior class? Um, <clears throat> what do you mean? Just more, just you guys, you know, Kenny and, and Joe came back, and you obviously are back. Oh, and, and like the senior class this year, you guys, you know, veteran leadership yeah. and, and going down to Columbus. I mean, this is not the same team that we saw two years ago down there. Yeah, I think those guys came back because they wanted to win games like this and um, win games that have, you know, have the potential to be able to reach a Big Ten championship. and. I think this is a big start in that uh, in that road, um, so we're ready to go. Brian, Brian it's a at Ohio State film for three or four years. You've seen some good Ohio State teams. Is this one better than those other Ohio State teams? Um, I think it's very solid. I'm not I'm not sure if they're necessarily better or worse than other teams, but um, obviously they got you know a great great overall D line, linebackers, corners, um, all of them can play. So Brian, it's really early in the season to declare a, a must win game, but a loss would make it very tough to catch them in the standings. Yep. Just how big is this one for your ultimate goal? Yeah, it's big. Um, you know, I think Ohio State's obviously a great team, and they always compete for Big Ten championships every year. So um, if we want to get where we need to go, this will be um, one that we should win. So. Yeah, Coach D'Antonio just said the Big Ten title leads through Columbus. you believe that? Yeah, I mean, if he, if he says that, I believe it. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's... He, he's, he's been there before. He knows how, um, how they are, so uh, we're ready for this. One. Well, let's say he didn't say it. Do you believe it anyway? Probably, yeah. Um, you know, they've historically been, or since Coach D has been here, mm -hmm. um, they've been a team that has been there a lot. Um, so if, if, if we want to, you know, get there, this is a team that um, we should be able to hang with. Is this Urban Meyer said, uh, you know, looking back at last year's game, he knew you get obviously you were hurt. He said he thought there was zero run threat from you in that game last year. Obviously, you're healthier now, but just. Mm -hmm. When you, when you remember how you approached that game last year, playing hurt versus now, how you know how much different do you feel? Um, just yeah, I feel, feel a ton more confident, I guess. Um, feel fine being able to do whatever I need to do, run or pass it. Um, so yeah, right. Chase Young specifically, Ryan. Um, 
what impresses you about him? Does he remind you of anybody? And when you've got a guy that's disruptive at that position, how does it sort of shape how you guys approach everything offensively? Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's a great player, and they've had a good history of DNs uh, recently, and I think he's he's up next for him. Um, he's a great player, and it's, it's going to take a lot to stop him. But um, you know, I trust my line. I trust what, the, what they're going to be able to do. How did you feel physically coming out of that game two years ago? They, they dropped you a lot in that two game. Two years ago? I it was fine. <laughs> there were a couple of things that, that Coach said, I think, remember in the back, that they did some alignment things that were a little different, I guess. How does that help yeah. you prepare for what they may do schematically? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think they've shown a ton really on film. Um, they haven't really needed to. It's considering they've won big in most of their games. Um, so we're ready for whatever um, they're going to throw at us. We're going to watch film from um, our previous games that made defenses that worked against us, uh, stuff like that. How do you think Brad's been in terms of in-game adjustments? Very good. I think um, you know he's. Our halftime adjustments have been pretty solid. Um, I just need a. I trust him. Whatever, whatever he calls and whatever he's going to do. Is there another gear for this offense? Oh yeah, I think so. I mean, I think we've shown, shown a lot, but um, there's still still much more we can do. Um, conversions, uh, touchdowns, third down conversions, stuff like that. You and Brad seem to be developing a chemistry. True. Yeah, I, I, I think it's. It started when I came here, um, him being my coach, and I've had a relationship with him, and uh, I think the season just made it better. So. You, you are 19 or 20 point underdog. Is that a slap in the face to you at all? Um, you know, I'm not really too big to comment on that. Um, I think they're, they're a great team, and um, I think we thrive in the underdog position, so um, that's something we've braced. Have you been able to, I don't know if you asked this earlier, Brian, have you been able to talk to Connor at all, or do you have any comments just on sort of his time here? and? What's next for him and everything? I guess seemed like he was a well-liked guy. Yeah, no, I, I he was a great guy. I loved being around him. He was he was, he was a fun guy to be around. Uh, I think he's a great player, and uh, you know, I, I wish him all the best. Whatever he does. So. Does that make things challenging? Not necessarily Connor per se, but just the thought that there are some guys that you know have that going through their head, and it's a different. It's different than it was four years ago. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's a different world where people can leave um, a lot more, but. Uh, it doesn't change my mindset at all. Um, you know, we got the guys that are here are the guys that want to be here, so we're ready to win with them. What things do you guys do to try and keep everybody focused in, in those moments rather than you know, having their minds splinter off? Um, it's tough, I guess. I don't know. There's only so much you can do if a, if a guy wants to go. Um, it's his decision, fully his decision, so um, I respect that. Backfield now it's three guys really is what it looks like. Does that does that change anything for you or I mean it really is just the same thing, you just not really the roles. Yeah, I mean <clears throat> the guys are rotating in and out all over the place, so um, I guess it maybe gives other other guys more opportunities. That, that end of half drive, Ladarius was in there and it seemed like he was doing pretty well in pass pro. I guess what have you what have you seen for him maybe in that third down two minute drill right yeah. in that game to, to kind of say this could be the guy going forward. Yeah, he's a, he, he's a big physical back, and I think Coach Sam likes him on third down. He knows what he's doing, and he can stick his nose in there and make blocks, um, and I trust him when he's in there. From a global perspective, how much do you think Ohio State has kind of influenced the league from an offensive perspective, and even you guys to some extent? Yeah, you know, they've been able to put points up year in and year out. Uh, they're very proficient. Um, whatever quarterback's in there has uh, been able to play well, so it says a lot about their program and about their, uh, their offense in general. Uh, from a scheme standpoint, I mean, what do you, what do you, I mean, is there anything that from there that you've seen kind of translate to other programs or other programs that you've tried to incorporate, including yourselves? I mean. um, schematically, I don't know. Yeah, I think overall, um, football has just changed and become more of a passing game where, mm -hmm. or oh, just opened up, go more spread type offenses. I kind of like that though. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are your thoughts on Ohio State's corners? They basically have three big timers, not just two. Yeah. What, what do you, um, how tight are the windows going to be? Very tight. Probably, uh, probably the you know best DVs we've faced so far. Um, so it's going to take you know, me being accurate, uh, receivers getting open, and making catches. So. You hit C.J. Hayes a couple times on third down. Is he growing into the role? I know there were some situations in the past where he might not have run things exactly right, but the growing process, is he starting to gain some traction there? Definitely. He's. Uh, I've seen a lot of maturity in him. Uh, so far, he's been great for us, and you know he was kind of thrust into the role of, uh, of playing. And I think he's 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 stepped up to it. Brian asked Joe the same thing. Like you guys have both been around a lot, like seen all sorts of different moods and, and vibes, like going into big games and big situations. Mm -hmm. What do you need to see? You think by like Friday, Saturday morning to know like. 
we've got because I'm sure you've been in the absolute situation where you're like maybe a little nervous and like I don't yeah. know if we're ready for something like this. But what do you need to see to know that you guys are comfortable and, and ready to go? Yeah, I think it's up, it's up to us as uh, as leaders to make sure that that's right and just instill confidence in guys, um, make them believe that we can win this game because uh, truly it is one that uh, we have a chance to win. So uh, it's got to be confident going into the game. Does it, does it require anything different, I guess, from you guys throughout practice as captains and older guys or anything, or just um, try to keep it as business as possible? Yeah, bus yeah business as possible, I guess. There's nothing, nothing special I think you really need to do. Um, just execute and prepare as best we can. Yeah, it's kind of weird to feel that these huge stakes in the game so early for you guys. I mean, you're used to playing in big games, but they're usually kind of yeah, November. Yeah, normally like, they're later. At this point in the year, it, it seems like there's really a lot weighing on this game. Is that kind of weird from you guys' perspective? Um, you know, I'm not too focused on that, I guess. I just. Uh, making sure we win this one. Uh, that's that's all we're focused on. You don't pick when you win the games, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, it's not my choice. Is there anything, any particular experience you challenge or channel from in the past, whether it was going to Michigan in 17, night game, double digit underdog, anything like that that you take into this game yeah. and think, remember what we've, you did? Yeah, I mean, I played in big moments, Penn State last year, Michigan that year. Um, we've had big games where we've gone into places and won, and Coach D's had a history of that too, so uh, we can kind of look back on that and take, on, take pride in that. When you look at uh, Chase Young, uh, you see what havoc he has wreaked in quarterbacks. Do you have to keep kind of thinking about that, or do you have to do anything different, just play it normal? Um, yeah, I just play it normal. I think relax. <coughs> um, I trust <coughs> I trust my own line to um, be able to do what they do, and. Uh, I'm just going to go out there and play as well as I can. Can you talk about uh, improvement in the offensive line? And for a while, you wind up with the four-string left tackle, but 34 points by the offense last week. Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest the biggest change from this year last last year this year has been our all line play. Um, I've been able to feel like I can see the field a lot better just because they've been protecting better. Um, it makes it easier for me every, uh, anytime they're playing well. So when you said last week, uh, this is fun. Were you talking about the situation and the chance to win, or were you talking about the success that you guys were having on offense and getting in the end zone? Yeah, I think just being able to move the ball. <clears throat> and in too many situations, I like having the ball in my hands, being able to decide the outcome of the game. Um, and that, that's just kind of what it comes down to, is being able to have fun and uh, relax and play football. So. With, with Young, does he move around a lot, Brian? What's 